Okay, Shalom, Shalom. This right here is um, a verification hookup here. First off, let's give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakah Hakodash. Double honors also to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all you Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. So we know that. Let's get this real quick. Amos. Because I've been trying to upload videos and all of a sudden it hit me with the, oh, you've had your limit for it today. And it's never been like that before because I put up videos, you know, um, quite a few of them within a day. And I've never had that problem before. But this is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord God, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water. But of, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and shall not find it. So now we do know that they got this new bill um, in process, you know, as far as like the um, anti, you know who I'm talking about, the anti SEM people. And a lot of shit is about to start happening where. They're about to start cutting into a lot of um, talk or just, you know, on the Bible in general, you know. So now look at the verification, the verification hookups right here. Right. This is what they told me. Let me let me go back real quick. I just tried to upload a video. It says daily upload limit reach verification needed to upload more more daily. So, look, if you want to upload more videos daily, check out what they're doing. One time verification needed. They have three different categories. It says to upload more videos daily and, and to access other advanced features, choose a verification option below. This helps us limit spammers and maintain a safer community for everyone. Now, I've been, I've had the channel for quite some time. You know, for a few years. You know that I'm not a spammer. You obviously have to know that okay this is my channel you know i'm uploading videos every day so now all of a sudden you want to know if i'm a spammer you don't know if i'm an actual creator <laughs> i mean you can listen to my videos hear my voice you know and and actually see me okay so here you go the first one they have is use video verification approval time usually up to a day will help you create a 30 second video of yourself so they want a 30 second video of myself you don't have no videos already of me we doing lives <laughs> you know we going out on the highways and byways you you know we do hours of you know hour long videos you know what i'm saying hour and a half two hour videos so how is it that you need that now check out the second one use your valid id Approval time, usually up to one day. Take a photo of your valid ID, like a passport or driver's license. Now, why would I need to do that? When you get a YouTube channel, don't they ask you for your, you know, your information, your name, your date of birth? They tell you that it, you know, it's not going to be shared. All this other little shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they want to know your age and demographics and so they can better share videos to you. See, this is why the scripture says to never trust thine enemy, right? Now, the third one that they have is build channel history. What the fuck do you mean build channel history? I got over 2,000 videos on this channel. Build channel history. It says approval time, usually up to two months. Build history automatically as you grow your channel and follow the community guidelines. I've been following the community guidelines. I haven't gotten no strikes. You know, I got a, a couple of, um, you know, um, age restricted, you know, but they doing that. They 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 say they'll tell you, oh, well, we don't feel like this is appropriate for this particular age. And they'll actually age restricted themselves. OK, fine. That's great. Love it because you know what you want as far as the ages. So I've, you know, been following all of these things. But guess what? They want. 
a 30 second video of myself I don't know why take a the secondary one is take a photo of your valid ID you want a picture of my fucking driver's license or my state ID or my passport that shit is bro but this letting you know now you know what I will say with this too if you push one of these and you actually comply, that gives them the ability to go forth with some bullshit. Because now you're giving them permission to check into you. So if you don't check into these, they don't have that power. And it's actually going off into, you know, the mark of the beauty and the beast and the digital all. If you know what I'm talking about with the history of the um, let me see here, Salakia. Now, uh, let's see. Exodus 21 and 6, it says this. Then his master shall bring. Let me go into this. I got to go into this a little bit. Slakia. Because this is the um, law on pretty much becoming a perpetual servant to your master, so to speak. Exodus 21 and 1. Now, these are the judgments which thou sh shalt set before them. If thou buy an Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go free. He shall go out free for nothing. Right? So having a Hebrew servant and treating our brothers, you know, properly was a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like the Lord gave us a law on it. You didn't mistreat them. You treated them the, the, the right way. You fed them. You clothed them. You housed them. You treated them good. It wasn't no hanging castrating buck raping none of that shit you know what i'm saying it says if he come in by himself he shall go out by himself if he were married then his wife shall go out with him right so he can come in with his wife let me read that in the nlt if he was single when he became your slave he shall leave single but if he was married before he became a slave, then his wife must be free with him. So you can come in with the wife. If his master have given him a wife. Now, this is different. If his wife, if the master gave him a wife and she had borne him sons or daughters, the wife and children shall be her masters. Now, the wife and the children are going to be the masters. Right. And he shall go out by himself so he can just leave. And that wasn't something that we was doing back then. This, see, the, the thing that you have going on right now as far as like a man leaving the household and leaving his wife and his children. That was a, a you know, a choice, you know, back then. Because, I mean, the, the owner, he actually owned the wife. So if she had children, she was his property. So, of course, the children were, were, were um, you know, his property as well. And a lot of the times that man would say, no, I love her and I love my children. I'm going to stay. Right. And, and a lot of our people, that's a, a an example as well of a lot of our people are going to give up a lot of um, they're going to just go and take this chip because of their wife and their children. And it's not going to be something that you're going to want to do in a case like this right here. A man would have normally gone in work, got his money done what he was supposed to do and get the fuck out of there not even dealt with no woman not especially not a woman of the master and that would be like today like you know like a woman of you know on section eight she's getting food stamps she belong to master you get kids by that woman you're gonna be sucked into his system and you're gonna be paying child support forever so let's move on verse five and if the servant shall plainly say i love my master my wife and my children, I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door or unto the doorpost. And his master shall bore his ear through with an all. A-U-L. And he shall serve him forever. See, let's go up into that word. Because this is what Esau wants. This is what it's all boiling down to. And we're getting close to this shit, man. This man is out here coming up with damn anti-sim um, bills and shit like that where they're, they're getting rid of free speech. They're getting rid of you saying anything. It is uh, Marsa'a, I think it is. And it goes a boring instrument. A boring instrument. Right? 
Let's see. From H7527, let's go a little further into it. A bore. To bore. Pierce. Now, this is a pierce of the ear. But what Esau wants to do with, um, you know, as far as Revelations 13 and 16, he wants to pierce your skin. You know, where it talks about, you know, um, your, uh, you know, the mark of the, you know, the mark of the beauty and the beast where you won't be able to buy or sell. Matter of fact, let's just get, grab that real quick. Now, I'm just I'm just going through this because when I seen it, I was so upset because I'm trying to upload my videos and I'm looking like my phone never done that before. You know, it's at 99 percent already ready to go. And then it just stayed there. Stayed there. Stayed. There. I'm like, no, my phone never done this before. I, was, you know, upstarted the phone again. You know, um, you know, restarted it. I, I you know, re-upload it. And then all of a sudden, they never let me knew from the beginning all the time that I'm struggling here. To let me know that, okay, you met your limit for the day. And then it actually hit, you know, on me. And that's Esau's way of, you know, frustrating you. So we can't give up, man. Revelation 13 and 16, it says, And he calls it for all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And this is what this is all leading up to. Because look at these credentials. Look at what they want. If they say, if you want to upload more videos. Now, we, we, we're we getting our lessons in. Because the apostles, you know, they, they just want us to get one in a day. You know, so to speak. You know, sometimes we go. I, I normally do like three or four per day. I'm just kind of a little bit more. I'm just a little bit addicted to it. You know. I be praying that they're edifying videos. But, okay, but. This first one right here, if I was to click on this first one, use video verification. So they want me to use a video verification. It says approval time again. I'm going to read them all over again. Approval time, usually up to one day, will help you create a 30-second video of yourself. Why would I do that? It doesn't make any sense. The second one says use your valid ID. Approval time, usually up to one day. Take a photo of your valid ID, like a passport or driver's license, and then what? Send it to your database? You don't know? I mean, come on, bro. But this is them wanting you to actually, if you do this, because it's not like they don't know who we are. They know who we are. Don't think that they don't know. They know who we are. Because you got to put in information to get these, you know, from a Gmail, because, you know, Google own all this shit. YouTube, the whole nine. So it's not like they don't know who you are, but they want you to give them permission. Now, now you're you're basically you're you're diving into them. It's like you know, I I agree with you. I love you, master. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I I, I want to now dedicate myself to you. This is what this is all about. Don't get don't get it twisted. Now I could push on to learn more. And the third one, it says, build channel history. Already got channel history. I'm telling you, this channel got like over 2,000 videos. What the fuck you mean, channel history? So, it says, to upload more videos, daily and access other advanced features, choose a verification option below. This helps us limit spammers and maintain a safer community for everyone. I, this channel has been up for some years. How do they not know that? So, again, see, when it comes to this mark of the beauty and the beast, that MOTB, he's going to need you to actually step forth and to comply. It's not going to be no good if he forces it on you. If he just run up on you, strap you down to a damn table, and now all of a sudden he's injecting you with the mark of the beast, the chip, this, that, and the third, that's not going to be valid. You're going to have to actually give them permission, and this is what these three things are about. They're going to need your permission to say, hey, you know what? I, yes, I contract, I'm signing where on the dotted line. Where you want me to sign? Once they get your signature, the contract is there. Pretty much with these dots, if I push one of these then I've, I've agreed to, now I'm not saying that, that, that this is the mark of the beauty and the beast. This is a precursor to the the permission. You know how like when you, you download an app and, and that app wants permission to go up into your contacts, your, you know, your, um, 
pictures, your videos, whatever the case, they shit that they want to use. So once you say yes, now they can, you know, they, 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 you know, you in there, they, they got you, they in your shit. You, you know, you know, and we know that certain things we just using for the, for the ministry. I don't mind giving up some information for the ministry, but as far as, you know, a little shit like this right here is not necessary. I've never had to do this before, but you know, hey, you know, hey, if I go past my video limit per day, then it is what it is. Let's, let's see how many videos I uploaded. I didn't even, I didn't even go that hard. It didn't, you know, but you know what though? Okay. So I'm assuming that they, they maybe count these in for a day. This one just floated in. This one right here was done 21 hours ago. This one right here was done eight hours ago. So that's two or three. This one was done five hours ago. So that's pretty much about four. This one right here was done four hours ago. So that's like five videos. This one right here is the one that I was trying to put up, but it says daily upload limit reached verification needed to upload more daily. Why would they need that? They know I'm on here uploading videos. Why, why don't you just let me upload my fucking video? And that's on all my channels because I'm working with four channels. I'm, I'm posting all these videos on four different channels because it's like different um, subscribers, you know, and I would say to brothers, too, if you got multiple channels, you can't assume that everybody that's on one channel is following um, your your content on another channel. I've noticed that. So I post to all the channels because it could be just one person on each channel that don't know about the other channel and they need to get the, the, the information, too. We're feeding the flock. You have to know that. You have to know that, man. You can't just upload the one video on one channel and say, oh, that's it. Everybody else that know me, they know that I got a secondary, third, fourth channel. That, that's like not feeding the flock. Because there's going to be some people on those other channels that don't know about your main channel that just so happen to have seen uh, 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 maybe an interesting to topic. They might have seen a, um, a, a, you know, a news article um, that probably hit them like clickbait. And they hit your channel up and they're watching your videos on a day-to-day -day basis and then... You know, they're not being fed because you're because now your new channel is back up. You only use the channel when, you know, you get a strike on your on, on your main channel. Now you're using your secondary channel. But there's people on the secondary channel to begin with. You have to feed those people. Now, it's tedious. Don't get me wrong, because look, all these videos, I can go off into it. Check it out. I'll switch. These are all the hookups right here. I jump from this one. I go to the next one. Same old thing, but it, it's different people that's on this channel. Same old thing. Now I tried to upload on this one, same thing. I tried to upload on my third one, same thing. I tried to upload on my fourth one, same thing. And guess what? I got a fifth one already cocked. And you know why I, I done that? It's because Esau kept hitting me over the head and kept taking down my damn channels, man. You know? Here's another one. I ain't even went into this one and even done nothing yet. Brand spanking new. It's been like that for a long time, though. I haven't had no um no reason to go into it, which I probably should go ahead and um get to um doing some content on this on on it as well. This is a fifth channel. I haven't done anything on it, you know. But again, you know, this is what Esau want from us, man. And I'm not complying to this. I'm just gonna wait and I'll wait it out and I'll see, you know, because like I said again, they probably. A lot of these, a couple of these other videos are phasing out as far as the 24 hour period, I would say. Because, like I said again, I had, let me see right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, that, I guess that could be their limit. I never really looked at it that way. But the guideline that they want you to go through, they want you to. Either do a 30 second video, 30 second video of yourself. So, you know, they're going to be doing biometrics, taking pictures of your eyes. They got your, they know exactly what you look like, right? It's almost, you know, and then if you don't want to do that, you could take a photo of your valley ID. Why the fuck would I give these pictures of these people a photo of my, my, my ID? What kind of you, you, passport? Are you fucking kidding me to do a video on YouTube? These fucking people crazy. Anyway, build channel history again. This channel, let me let me go into it. Let me see how many um this channel got at least look right here. 
2,000. This, this, this channel got over 2,000 videos. What the fuck you mean? You don't know what I've been doing? You, you, you know? What the fuck are they, what, are, what are you talking about? <laughs> I joined in 2018 on this channel. No, no, Salakia, 2021. So this channel been up for the past three years. What the fuck do you mean? You need verification. But we know that Esau is starting to cut off into, you know, um, these these um, you know, these videos and cutting off because that that Amos eight and eleven is coming into play. That famine of the world. So hey, just get ready for it, man. Just you know, we're we're prepared, man, and we're not ignorant of Satan's devices as well. Let me end out with that real quick. Second like Corinthians 2 and 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of, advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of the fact that you're trying to garner permission from us through our ID. Like, motherfuckers, you're not getting no ID from me. Not from that end. I'll do this. I, hey, look, you can shut down. I'll get to my limit per day, and that's that. You won't ever be getting anything like that from me. <laughs> as far as I can help it. Hell to the no no. So watch out for stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Come your show.